Hi, it's Miss Julie. I have these really cool sea creatures that I thought we could use together. And I've been saving toilet paper tubes and paper towel tubes. With the paper towel ones, your grown-ups can cut them into three, and then they're about the same size as one that you get from toilet paper. So I'm going to show you a game that I think you might like playing. And this is another way to use things that you might have otherwise thrown away. So I put a number on each of these tubes, and I thought we could put them in, or in order together first. So if we're counting, normally we don't count zero, but if we were going to count zero, we would put that first. And then what comes after zero? The number one, right? And do you see what comes after one? It's right in front. Yep, the number two. So zero, one, two, what comes next? Do you see it there? What would you put next? Three, right? Zero, one, two, three. What comes after three? Oh, it's hiding way over here. Four. And then, let me put these out so you can see what they are. All right. What comes after four? Eight, ten, six, seven, nine, five. One, two, three, four, five, right? Okay. So let me move these over. We have zero, one, two, three, four, five. What comes next? Six. And then what comes after six? Did you say seven? Good. And then what comes after seven? Let's go through them. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then nine, good. And then last 10. Now 10 isn't the last number, is it? It's just the last number that we're gonna do together right now. There really isn't a last number because they just keep going and going and going. So I thought we could dump these sea creatures. I hope we'll have enough to play this game. And normally we say we don't dump things. I know in my classroom we don't dump things, but um, for this I thought we would dump. So if I wanted to put zero sea creatures there, zero is the same as none, right? So I won't put any there. But if I want to do one sea creature, oh, I've been thinking a lot about octopuses later, late, lately, and this is an octopus. An octopus has how many arms? Did you say eight? Yeah, eight arms. So I'm going to put one sea creature in front of the number one. And then the number two, how about, I can never tell if it's a dolphin or a porpoise. I'm going to say dolphin. So one dolphin, and I need another one there, right, to make two. Oh, look at this one, a sea turtle. So I have zero sea creatures there. I have one sea creature there. Two, what do we need now? Three. Do you know what that one is? A lobster. And, oh, do you know this one? That's called a stingray. Two, we need one more. Starfish, looks just like a star, doesn't it? So we have three there. One, two, three. Now we've got to do four. Do you know what this, this sea creature is? I think that's a sea lion. 
or maybe a seal. One. How about that one? Two. It's a penguin, right? Uh, you'll know this one. A frog. Three. And we need one more to make four, right? I think this is a whale four it's hard for you to see the penguins kind of in the way I'll hold this up later to show you all right then we've got five right so let me see if there are any different ones in here up oh, here's one do you know what that one is that's a seahorse so one Oh, I think this is a swordfish. Two, three, four, five. Now this is going to get a little tricky because I'm going to start to run out of room. All right, do you want to count six with me? One two. Oh, we didn't do that one yet. Do you know what that is? It's a crab. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and the next number is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we need to do eight. I'm going to spread those out a little bit. All right, eight. I think I'm going to move my camera over because it's getting a little hard to see. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now what comes next? Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the last one, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Move the extras out of the way and I'm going to pick up the camera and show you from up above. See all the numbers and all the different sea creatures. Which one has the most? Can you tell? That's the 10, right? 10 is the biggest number here. It has the most sea creatures. Which one has the least? That would be zero. Zero doesn't have any. Now you could do this counting game with different things. Maybe if you don't have sea creatures at home, maybe you could use your cars or maybe you could use pennies that your parents have collected or you have collected. Um, you could do lots of different things. See what you have around your house that you have a lot of. Have fun.